Your dad likes to break drones, so I became good at it. That's how I became good at fixing cars. Look, it was a master model. <laughs> when he was like See, I can't even go Bam Margera on your ass because you're a f***ing dog. You're saying stupid. <laughs> Why do you have a tire pressure gauge? Cause, I, cause Billy said he might I've drive. I've been looking for that tire pressure gauge for an hour. People she was won't trying leave to get my shit you, alone. So that you wouldn't be mad. So you, and now you're mad. Still. I've literally been looking for that tire pressure gauge for an hour. You should ask me. You? Why would you have it? Usually the kids have it. I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's basically my old truck, but a prettier body. You got gas ties by a street car. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? We're looking for the drone. Where is it at? Did he did he crash this this morning? No, this was been up there for a week and a half. What? I don't know if you can see it or not. See up yonder? Yeah, I see it. I need someone to bean it. Oh my goodness. You're kidding me. I was trying to snake it out with a drone, but it's covered in limbs. I'm guessing this isn't gonna work. No. <laughs> no I wish. Maybe <laughs> it's straight up. We're standing right underneath of it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we head in the house, Chevy has to grab a stick. Every time, without fail. And she just leaves it. Chevy, where's your stick? Grab your stick. Your stick. I thought your stick, okay. And she dropped it, okay. Yo. Did you already grab some Krylon? Yeah, I just got some from work. All right, cool. I got some paint and then some rear end grease. Sweet. So, All, right. Rear and dip loop. All right, I'm going to order food. I'll be there in a minute. All right, see you. It's Krylon day. I'm going to make sure this thing's nice, you know? When somebody gets it, they don't want a, a truck that's covered in grease that's been painted over. We need to clean the frame up, get it all nice. Because there's really one opportunity to do this and do it right, and it's in the beginning. Like you don't want to do everything and then go back and be like, let's go grease, let's go degrease the frame and get all the dust off of it, all the dirt, all the nastiness that's been on there since, you know, the '80s. I don't feel like going out and power washing today since the hose is honestly probably frozen anyways, but it's so cold here. Um, can't really power wash it. So, I mean, we power washed the frame, at least what we could get from, you know, not having it on the lift already, but there's a lot of things underneath that we couldn't get when we were power washing it. So now we're just getting everything else. That super citrus is, is, the, is the shit. Look at all that goop, dude. 
you don't want to be reaching in there to adjust your shocks and get a handful of grease from 1983. That's that's just not right. This thing's still on the original ball joints. I just went through all this with my truck, like my step side, so I get your pain, but I wasn't doing it on the Once you start, you gotta commit. Like, oh yeah. What you, you get, can. buddy? I got the holy grail. The holy grail. Chilly today. Oh God. I got one for your mom too. I called her, she said she wanted a chili. So I gotta take your mom or chili. I shall return. Such a sweetheart. Have you seen the wheels yet? RC Comp sent these wheels. They're the Impulse. They're the brand new wheels they just came out with. Straight ice. So damn, man. Damn. This is like the iciest wheel they offer. Impulse wheels, but they look like snowflakes. Imagine those with the hot boy brakes, like. Oh yeah, and it's got them. They're in a box out back. I can't wait. Could you imagine a Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am with, with those, those on it? Yeah, and gold. <sighs> I don't think my truck ever had that. I think I want to take it off. I feel like it would be pretty close to the oil pan. Plus it's extra weight. I, I really don't know, um, honestly. What's he doing? I think he's taking the Nova to go test it somewhere. Earlier this week he said he was going to and Bob was driving the car. I don't know if that's still the plan or what he's got going on. Never. Where's the ball peen here? I don't know. I couldn't find it. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for it too. Mallet. I think it's over here you on the lift arm. it off with a rubber mallet? That's all I could find. It's right here, buddy. It's right there, bro. It's in the whacker department. <laughs> whacker department. <laughs> hey, yeah, there you go. Fuck it up better. That's a lot gooder. That's still a good shock. We could use that. We could use that for a rear shock on the Falcon. Yeah. Boy, you fucking beat that thing off so good. <laughs> Do you feel like an S10 is like the Chevy Fox body? It's not really a Fox body, I would say, but it's definitely the, the cheap, the cheap, build on yeah. The front. Yeah, like this truck, even as clean as it is, like, you could pick this truck up for less than 10 grand, you know, in its stock condition because it didn't have air conditioning, it didn't have power steering, it didn't have power brakes. I mean, it's just a bare bones truck, like just an A to B gets you back and forth to work truck. So yeah, they're pretty cheap. And you know, in today's day and age, everybody wants a million dollars for everything, but these things seem to stay relatively cheap. And you don't have to have a nice one either. You could have ones with and rust in the doors and rust in the cab corners. It doesn't matter as long as it goes fast. Like my truck has rust holes in the cab corners. Who cares? Still does wheelies. The main thing is that you've got a solid frame. As long as the frame is solid, who cares about the rest? We gotta get these not hot boy brakes off here. How much of a difference do you think like dragless uh, brakes do? Like how much do you think that's worth like, with less drag? This brake right here. Pulling you back half a tenth, you think? No, probably a couple numbers. Maybe one mile an hour. But all of them together, you know, they all have a little bit of drag. So it's hard to say. If you think about it, it takes a lot to spin that. Right. Then you're trying to push you know, a truck into the wind with brakes that are sticking. Who goes there? So it begins. Oh boy. We're gonna paint the frame and then set the engine down in it. You gonna get you a new master cylinder? That one's pretty eyesore-ish. Ooh, Maybe this we'll thing take it off. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look at you, you knew what a master cylinder was. It's pretty, I like shiny things and that doesn't qualify. Qualifying, huh? No. It's not in bad shape, it's just, it's got some surface rust on it. So what are you guys doing exactly? So basically we're clearancing the firewall and floor for the Turbo 400 because once that 400's in there, it's 
especially if you have an aftermarket ultra bell housing, gets pretty tight. Luckily, this one is a stock case with a stock bell housing, so it's not gonna be too bad, but we wanna clearance it just cause like now's the time to do it. And you don't wanna have to be fighting it and then get in there and start beating on it with a hammer. I'm pretty sure everybody with an S10 ever has had to do this. Yeah, you just V8 swapped it. Yeah, you just have to open it up a little bit. Like you can see it right here. Somebody has done something prior, like maybe the transmission got rebuilt or something, and they couldn't get it out. But that's the culprit. That's what. There's happened. no need for this lip here. Basically, yeah. you can take that off, all the way out here. Like you can open it up a little bit. Then right here on the corner, you have to do a little. Be, be about bang bang when you do a 400 to get the bolt to go in on the corner right here. In other words, that's Clarence. Clarence. Who's Clarence? Uh, this guy I met. It's a duck in your car, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, sir, buddy. She's all ready for you guys. <laughs> you want to buy it or not? Plug it up better. That's one of your. That's one of your best quotes. I've been using it a lot recently. Plug it up better. <laughs> you gotta say F U G G it up better with a D. <laughs> you start dragging that tire through all the oil dry. Plug it up. You should have a. You should have on the shirt. That van pulling the tire across the track. Yeah, and like, and the, the oil spells out, fuck it up better. That'd be so fucking great. I can have Robert get on that. That'd be cool. I wonder if we shouldn't just rear mount the, the radiator on this one and just use the Davies Craig. Get down with it's your not that up. hard. The only thing you deal with is air getting more air getting under the hood with when you don't have a radiator up there. It kind of. But it, it's kind of nice you can see everything through the grill rather than just seeing a, a radiator in the front. But I don't want to cut this core support like I did on my truck. Kind of jippy, you know? I think we should rear mount it or maybe get a smaller one that fits inside of this area. All right, I gotta start getting loaded up. <clears throat> Get my... you got Where, are you going? Uh, where are you going? Yeah, I'm going, me and Uncle Bob are headed down to. When's this video going up? It's gonna be a it's gonna be a few days. I don't you're know. Be, you already you probably raced by the time this is up. Okay. <clears throat> so you're gonna time travel. So, me and Uncle Bob are gonna take the truck and trailer down north, and we're gonna go test my Nova to see what it runs on motor. Turn the kit on. And I'm gonna turn the kit on. And I think Uncle Bob's gonna drive. So do you know where my uh, laptop is? Should be in the car. In my Nova. I don't think it is. So we took the old sending unit out of the other motor and we put it in, in here so that we can use the stock gauge. It's honestly, the gauge for the oil pressure in this is pretty nice. Like it's, it actually shows you like 30, 60. It doesn't say L and H. <laughs> yeah. It says, you know, 0, 30, 60. It's kind of nice. Found it. It, it was upside down, so it blended in with the back seat. All right, I got to run down and get my wheels and tires so I can take them 17s off the front of my car. Can't believe you're taking the 17s off. What? So I'm going to put them on my truck. Right. 17s for life. I love the 17s. I think it looks so good. It looks like you don't know how to read a tape measure. <laughs> well, from my experience the past two days, I didn't know how to read a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when, when Rob measures shafts, it's a little off. <laughs> you know. There's lots of different ways to measure them, you know. There is. I mean, it depends if you depends on if you go from under the gooch or in front of the gooch. I mean, just I'm talking about the drive shaft. Oh, oh, gotcha. So we got a converter for this thing from 501, the best converter company in all the land. <laughs> Everything except the Falcon, and the Falcon's loose. Now, honestly, the Falcon could go faster if it had one of these. Look, it's even got an SRC condom on it. There it is, right there. And of course, the big round 501 sticker. We're gonna put that on the rear, on the rear window. 
Yeah, stickers on nice cars, just like bracket car shit. Yeah. Anything, anything. Careful, careful. I don't want to talk bad about bracket cars. June might bite us. She knows we're talking about her. How smart she is. All right, you ready? What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to get bit. <laughs> you're trying to get bit. Hey, Dad, fuck you. <laughs> See, I can't even go Bam Margera on your ass because you're a fucking dog. She doesn't understand stupid. I'm <laughs> <laughs> alert right now. No, no, I know the key to her heart. What? June, you got eye goopers? Let me see. Let me see the eye goopers. Aww. You got eye boogers. She got me good. <laughs> she, uh, she came at you like a spider monkey. You gotta be dumb, you gotta be tough. Yeah. <sighs> if you go back long enough on the channel, you can probably find videos of June when she was a puppy. Because I got her like probably six, seven years ago. I mean, I got her right around the same time with, you know, with the truck was on nitrous and yeah, a lot was different back then. Before the lift, a couple girlfriends ago. Red. When I got her, I had my lifted K20, a 78. I brought her home from Amish country. Oh. I found her on like a dog Craigslist type thing. It might have just been regular Craigslist. And I was in I was in school, I was in high school at the time. And I was like sitting there on my phone and I found her. The last one out of the litter that was left. There was like one or two left. Yeah, but I think it's backwards. Hey man, your engine's backwards. Dick twist. I'll dick twist it a little. Dick twist Give her the old dick twist. Grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> I'd really like to go to a UFC fight one time. You think you could be a UFC fighter? Um. I used to want to like box back in the day, but I just, yeah. Well, he fights dirty. He fights really no, dirty. No, that's called fighting to win, not fighting dirty. My dad got me one time, right in the, we had this like. Right in the gizzard? No, I was probably like 15 and I was testing my dad's patience. Dude, I've never seen my dad come out of a chair so fast in my life, bro. Like, he comes out of that chair. It, I think I was doing, said something to my mom or something stupid. But anyway, dude, he freaking come out of that chair so fast. And, like, my parents' bedroom was downstairs at our old house. Like, a cubby area that you walked into and then the door was, like, sunk in. Like, kind of like a closet deal. Dude, my dad got up out of his chair and I was right there. Dude, he backed me into that freaking little area. Dude, I got the melee, bro. It was like fucking Floyd Mayweather, dude. <laughs> My dad fucked me up. Dude, not, I had nowhere to go. He backed you into the corner, knocked oh. you over the ropes. We, I mean, yeah, I was like walking out of the room or something, and I had said something. Dude, my dad come out of that chair, beat my ass. Why were you testing your dad's face? I always used to. I got three other brothers and a sister, and my dad didn't let nothing slide. So when it was time for your ass whooping, you took your ass whooping. Out there, right there, boy, small block Chevy. This is how they should have came, dude. Is it hitting the valve cover? The air box back there? It's uh, like right there, dude. Put some bolts in it. Bolt it, dude. You know what's sad? Coming to be a sad day? The 1962 engine hoist is gonna have to be retired because it's leaking pretty good. My dad probably got that from his great granddad. You know what I'd really like? Some black valve covers on it. Black? I'm not a big polish guy. My dad's a polish guy. I can't stand it. Like any little fingerprint makes it dirty. Like these were probably nice at one time. I was trying to come up with a name that had like a, a cold theme, like a icy theme, and Sub-Zero was, was one of the ones I come it's up with. another Sub-Zero and Frosty. Yeah. So one of my merch guys, he's making Christmas tree ornaments. That's sick. Yeah. But here's the shirt design we're coming out with. Dude, that's sick. It's like graffiti. Yeah. That's sick. I remember playing Mortal Kombat when I was like nine years old with my cousin, like thinking it was the coolest shit ever. And as far as the wiring goes, it's pretty simple. Dude, it's simple. Like this will go down, straight like down. That'll go. So this will go to the alternator, right? No. So that'll get it. its power. 
That goes over to like the fuse block, right? This is your switch. This is what activates the solenoid to start That's it. That's the starter activation. And this is your 12 volt to it. And then it, there'll be a battery, a wire that comes from the back to the starter yep. for the main power. Stab the training in it, put the cross member in it. You start okay. putting headers on it. And do we have a starter here? Measure. Got to do an ignition box, obviously, which is very simple. We'll probably put like a 6AL2 in it. How are you going to control boost? We'll use the old boost controller. The AMS. The one that was in your truck? Yeah. Well, it was in my truck, it was in my dad's car, and now it's going to be in this thing, and it's going to live on. That's the thing. I want it to be put to use. What's it going to do just sitting in a box? I want it to keep winning races. All the stuff that I used to use. I'm going up on the tranny jack. Been a while since uh, had a 400 and something. Well, well, well. Like God intended. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this thing has any buttons so we could wire the trans brake to something that you can't even tell there's a button. I could put it on, I could disconnect the horn and put it on the horn button. Eh. <laughs> we may have to put a button on the dash or something. Well, we got to put a shifter in it. Or yeah, we can just, can put, just it put it on the shifter. shifter. Make a little pedestal. For I want to keep the bench seat. Well, the good part is we can make a pedestal or get one of those pedestals like we put in your truck. The bench seat is one of the best parts about this truck. The dash in this thing is in really nice shape. Do you think we should put a cage in it? Maybe we should just put a cage in the bed and just put it in a box, you know, like a pre-bent, pre-notch deal and just say, hey, it comes with a complimentary cage if you want to put one in it. Because not everybody wants a cage in their streetcar. I think it could deter people from buying it, actually. I think I'll just leave it up to them, but maybe, you know, Throw it in there. Mm. One more. Mm. There it is. So satisfying, isn't it? Should be all. What shifter do you guys like the best? The Motion Raceworks Operator? You like the B&M? Pro well, Stick? I want a skull Old shifter. school? The cool part with the Motion one you like the M &M is this PPP. truck is old school and didn't come with cup holders. Yeah. So we could do the accessory. We could add the, the cup, cup holders, holders to the front of the, the shifter. Motion Raceworks one. Yes. I think that is a nice thing. So the biggest question is: so Are you going to leave the Outlaw shifter in your truck, or are you going to put the new Motion Raceworks one that they sent in your truck? The, like definitely that? not the Motion Raceworks one. The Motion. It's the Motion. Well, Mation. well you know, it's probably, the Malaysian Raceworks yeah, one. Yeah, that's 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 the sister company. <laughs> <laughs> The Motion Raceworks one. The Malaysian Raceworks one is probably the Speedmaster one. That's the one I got. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's the you one got I got. The Malaysian I got Raceworks. The, I got that one in my Mustang. He thinks those are ugly? Yeah, he doesn't like these. Let's see, let's see what he's putting criticize, on it. Criticize, criticize, yeah. criticize. He's going to put some 15s on it with some big balloon tires. I got 28 inch super swampers. Oh, God. Damn it. Killed it. Killed the vibe. Jesus Christ. The next time I need to last longer, I'm going to think about your wheels. <laughs> Watch, now he's going to go over stuff and it's going to drag the exhaust. He's like, God damn it, the exhaust fucking hit! He's, he's, turning, it, he's turning it back into a boomer mobile. Oh, another long jacking session. We need one of the ones that are like on air. I said that the other day. Where do you, where can we get one of those? Probably marketplace. Uh, we'll find one when we get the new shop out that we can. Oh, we're we're gonna load thing. the new shop up with fabrication stuff and a mini lathe. Yeah. So we can make little spacers and stuff. There's huffing paint in here. Yeah, you want some? No. You got it out of the tree? No, this is the other one he destroyed. Uh, I welded the camera back together. You welded the camera back together? Yeah, I take my soldering With arm. JB weld? And then I cut pieces out of other cameras and I lay it on the crack and then I melt all the plastic together. And how do you voila. know how to do all that? Your dad likes to break drones, so I became good at it. <laughs> That's how I became good at fixing cars. Look, it was a master model <laughs> when he was like 12. And it continues. How much do you charge him every time? I don't. I figured it's worth a hundred bucks. 
So there's these are 300 a pop, and he destroys them. I don't like, know if you've been invoicing them or not. No, not recently. Dude, Bucko, you should have, like back invoice him for all the other ones, and it's just hand it to him. He'll freak out. I don't need him freaking out anymore. 16, and he already does. 16 drone repairs. $100 a piece. Well, it's cheaper than 500 to 300 a piece. Yeah, to buy a new one. Yeah. And then you got to wait, which he doesn't like to do. The one in the tree has been brought back from the dead nine times, and then there's another six corpses. So he's pretty much breaking drones every time he goes out and flies them. Yeah. So as you can see, this gyroscope works. Oh yeah, he was extremely gyroscope? upset about that at the track when his drone wasn't working properly. That's because he landed it on the camera somewhere. As you can see, scrapes on the bottom of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Johnny Five? It's one of those Pearl Harbor drones. Hmm? It's in the tree. Oh, that's Johnny Five. Johnny Five has been brought back nine separate times. Johnny Five still alive. It has a piece from every drone that he's bought welded to it. The arms have been replaced, everything. The hard mainframe replaced it once. The gyroscopic computer in it has been replaced once. And it's been up there for a week. It's been rained on everything else. He says it's dead, but I beg to differ. So I'm going to take a piece of PVC and I'm going to take a stove pipe lighter from a grill and then we'll put tennis balls in it and spray some hairspray in it and then we're gonna stand underneath of it and light it and mortar it out of the tree. Mortar fire. Make sure that we film this. Yeah. That'll be sweet flying, flaming tennis balls. He'll be able to do his droning today as long as he doesn't get in a hurry because he's like a bull in a china shop. I don't know if he wrecked it or if he just threw it on the seat and broke the camera off, I don't know. The one that goes on is that other brand new E85 and it's got parts missing out of it, so don't try and start with that. I took the needle and seats out of it. So start with the chrome one? Yeah, the chrome one, the ATM chrome blow through. The one that was on your car? Yeah. Okay. So you can start it with that one, but don't it's not going on the truck. That CSU goes with the truck. You're pretty uh set on that chrome ATM. Don't want to let go of it? It's the only one like it in the entire world. In the world? In the world. Why? Because it's mine. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to tune the new carburetor. <laughs> we? <laughs> we? What? <laughs> That's one thing about hot rodding. Sometimes the parts you buy, they just don't fit. Yeah, well, nice. this hole doesn't line up with anything. But I mean, these trucks were made so differently. It could just be the truck. Who knows? That's what we're that's what we're leaving that it's the truck. It could be the truck. Do you think anybody that's made these parts actually test fitted them? Oh, I'm sure, but it depends what day of the week and who's making them. You know, after that. Thursdays, I want the fuck out of here. And Fridays, I don't care. It determines whether it's Putin or Kim Jong making them. So you got Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> as long as the part was made Tuesday or Wednesday, you might be good. Depends. Tuesday and Wednesdays are usually good days. Today's Wednesday. Yeah. Are we if having we, a good. If we if this, if we got the cross member and it was made on a day like today, it probably would have fit fine. We need to f with Dad before he leaves. Get him all riled up so Bob has a nice ride to the <laughs> track with him. Let's let him pull out and then tell him he forgot something important, like right oh, when he gets God. out. I'll be like, dude, I grabbed your tire pressure gauge out of the car. He like he forgot it. It's in my truck. Yeah. <laughs> let him get all the way to. This dude's gonna, you're gonna make he freaks time. out about when people take his tire pressure. I do too. You take mine all the time and never put it back. So I'm in the staging lanes about to race. I got one tire at 25 and I got one tire at 5. So listen, you want to hear something funny? When I just did the finish the stuff on the Nova and had to run the wires and stuff back for the uh, standalone and all that, I found four tire pressure gauges in the back seat of the Nova. Who was the last one to drive the Nova? You. <laughs> Couldn't find tire pressures anywhere. They were all in the Nova. He loves to pull that trick on me. Hey, where's my tire pressure gauge? It's back in the pit. Oh! It's not in my car. <laughs> oh! Did you take my tire pressure gauge again? No. <laughs> well, it's not in my car. Hey, Bob. You got a tire pressure gauge, Bob? It was definitely in the car Bob's when driving. I. driving. He should have brought his own. I didn't. You wasn't informed to me. <laughs> We were actually just talking about. It's a Jags digital one, right? Yes, where is it? I don't know. 
It's mine. Quit taking it. <laughs> Take it. Keeps taking it. Is it in your mouth, though? Your day just got worse. <laughs> hey, go, I know. go follow him. F you, Tommy. Huh? Bigger. Yeah, it's the big one. Yeah. It's, it's, Look, this one tilts so I can have story time. <laughs> Real dim. <laughs> What's behind the light is what counts. He almost needs a lampshade for that thing. If you ever get in a fight, just wear that thing. They won't be able to see anything <laughs> in front of you. So are you gonna like cuddle? Are you cuddling with my dad in the trailer tonight? I mean, he definitely likes to snuggle. Is that right? Yeah. Huh. Snuggle. I can't believe we're talking home. about that tire pressure gauge and then walked in talking about his tire pressure gauge. Laura, you guys just steal his tire pressure gauge a lot. Right. <laughs> I secured the tire pressure gauge and I already put it in the trailer an hour ago. Where did you find your tire pressure gauge? So, Billy thought you might drive when we went to Kentucky, so I had brought it along. I got it out of your Nova like a week ago. Why do you have a tire pressure gauge? Because because Billy said he might I've drive. I've been looking for that tire pressure gauge for an hour. Well, I, I had it a week ago. <laughs> I was ready a week ago. She was trying. People she was won't trying leave to get my it for shit you alone. So that you wouldn't be mad. So you, and now you're mad. Still. I've literally <laughs> been looking for that tire pressure gauge for an hour. You should ask me. You? Why would you have it? Usually the kids have it. Look what I found. Brand new. You're making Chevy nervous. You're making Chevy you nervous. Ah, I don't want to need it. <laughs> hey, Dad, so Bob said you guys are going to cuddle in the trailer tonight. It's supposed to be pretty no, cold. No, no. <laughs> oh, so you're going to have to be, you're going to be Big Spoon. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go back home. I've been abusing up. I said Bob's going to dish out his pills and get him his due. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anybody that travels oh, with God. Bill has to make sure he takes his meds at night. <laughs> you're the reminder. <laughs> Hey, make sure you give him the peach pill. <laughs> what the f is that? Tony gave me some. Tell him about the peach pill. No. Tony gave me some, and I was going to use them, and Mom threw them in the trash. They were expired. How they expire? He gave you blue shoes. Huh? He gave you blue shoes. What the hell is a blue shoe? You know it's bad when you're dating Tess and you need wiener. Yeah. Pills. What the? F Cut all of that last minute. All right, uh, okay, so the last thing we have to find is dad's coat. Oh my God, does this dude know where anything oh, is? Oh, it's right there. There it is. <laughs> we gotta find dad's. We, we lost the Nova. It's gone, I don't know where it is. Has anybody seen the keys to the Malibu? Anybody seen oh, my that's air? that's a whole other damn thing. <laughs> oh, you, yeah. you, you're guilty by the way. Why? Rob, hold up, hold the phone. Guilty you're guilty as hell. What? Why do you keep taking keys out of cars that don't even run? Because you guys leave out of the state and leave the key in everything here. The last time I had to chase a guy halfway across the fucking county. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that vehicle ran. One time One is time. enough. You pulled keys out of something that doesn't have an engine or a you transmission. Know, all right, so I pull in and I have to move Tommy's green Chevy pickup out back. Keys aren't in it. And then I remember Jeremy told me, hey, by the way, I took keys out of everything after you guys left. I remembered that. I come in here, I get the keys, I'm like, I don't know what the keys to Tommy's truck looks like, but there's two oddball sets of keys that I don't recognize. That probably say GM on them. Yeah, so I take them out back, nothing works. I'm like, it's Tommy's truck, who fucking knows how bad this is gonna be? You know, maybe the keys don't even work. I mean, I don't know. In and out, in and out. I went three times. It's raining. It's raining. It's 2.30 in the morning. It turns out Tommy pulled the keys out, put them in the door. Out of all of you, Tommy and Allison well, are the only it. one that pulled their keys out of the ignition. The only ones. He still hasn't addressed the fact that the, some of the vehicles didn't run. Jeremy, you pulled keys out of a vehicle that doesn't have an engine. Did you ever seen a crackhead with a car trailer come up and throw your shit in reverse neutral and then they throw it right on the trailer and take. run off with it? The keys are really... If they get it, they've earned it at that point. <laughs> Oh, the steering column doesn't unlock. Can't take it. <laughs> Might be the point of it not being there. I'd like to see him start mine because you got to turn switches and all kinds of shit on to get money. Well, started. that's the last thing they're going to run off with. No. <laughs> Speedy <laughs> couch. I should fucking run screen door. <laughs> that's the last thing they're going to steal. Yeah. I'm going to fucking.
is famous on video. Did you see that? Beat that pimp, motherfucker. He beat the Nanner split. Who'd you beat? Yeah, he beat a drunk guy. A fly. Bucko's <laughs> <laughs> fucking beat flies on the screen door with this shit. I got it at one piece at a time. And it didn't cost me a dime. Good luck, Bob. Thank you. Are you on speed dial? Yeah. You're already screwed. Have you a crank bolt? Uh, no. I usually, when I go to Jags, when I see crank bolts and shit like that, I just buy three or four of them at a time. Buy a Jags bolt. Chevy. What are you doing, Chevy? What are you doing, Chev? Hmm? Are you shop supervising? Are you shop supervising? I'm always thinking ahead. Man, it sucks having to give away nice stuff. <coughs> I can't wait to put the hot boy brakes on there. I know. And the hot boy wheels. I'm probably gonna Come on. Train. Why is your mom calling me? Hello? Yeah, we're getting a hotel. After we get done at the strip club. She said she don't even care. Damn. I'm to take June. What? Bring June in. No, June's going with us. No, she's not. Bring both dogs in. June has to go. She's she's already uh, made arrangements. No. She's she's looking no. at me right now. June has to stay home. No, she's begging. She says I'm going, Papal. You going? You want to go racing? All right, so here's the plan. We're gonna upload this video tonight, and then everybody's gonna know Dad's going to. So everybody's gonna fuss up his test session. <laughs> if you could be any Power Ranger, which one would you be? I don't think I'd be a Power Ranger. I think I would be the guy that they're always trying to fight. But if I were to be a Power Ranger, I think I'd probably have to go with the green one. The green one? I think so. I, got, I was like the Red Ranger. That was the girl. You want to be a girl? It wasn't the girl. Yeah, the red was the girl. No, it wasn't. Yeah, the it was. The pink one's the girl. Why are we talking about Power Rangers, though? I don't know. I think if you were to be, if you could be any Transformer, what would you be? I think I'd be Bumblebee. Bumblebee? I want to be one of the little guys, the little computer guys that comes in. It looks like the little mini Johnny Fives. You know what I'm talking about? The little bot things? Yeah, the little bots. That's what I'd want to be. Those things are annoying. I know. I'd want to be one of those guys just so I could fucking annoy everybody because I've never been a little guy. So I'd always just, I just want to be the little guy so I can just <laughs> run around and fuck everybody's ankles up like a little chihuahua. <laughs> Look at that. It's almost like they knew that these trucks would get small walked. Hitting that bad. For whatever reason, it's hitting pretty good. The engine is sitting like this a little bit. It's because those motor mounts are slotted mm -hmm. to let it move. We may need to loosen it and just jack up on it a little bit. And it'll give it that slight clearance. Because your truck used to always barely touch that. Barely, yeah. Until we put the new steering column in it. That's probably what we're going to have to do is loosen those mounts and then just like this with the engine just a little bit. But. We can't really do that either. Oh, this is going to be great. What? That's hitting the airbox already. So, this is plastic. See it? Yeah, it's touching it. And it's all the way forward. Either way, that valve cover is going to be a uh, good opener. And we have to take it off. Hey, starting to look like an engine. Got the water pump on there, got the alternator on there. Carburetor, headers are on. Got a brand new steering shaft. Got rid of the old rag joint. That's a Hooker Blackheart steering shaft for 82 to 93 S10. Fits pretty good after some dingerfications. So yeah, that's gonna about wrap up today's video. We're gonna try to do daily uploads while we're building this thing um honestly it's going together pretty nice and i don't think it's going to take too long so well i'll be damn
we got ourselves a race truck. Would you just look at it? Gosh. I mean, who wouldn't want that? That's basically my old truck, but a prettier body. <laughs> it's literally the old S10 with a nicer body. Maybe not quite the motor that it had. You know, the 400 was a little bit better, but. So what's the, that's pretty impressive. I know, right? <laughs> We're good, huh? Pretty good at doing stuff. Yeah. You guys got a lot done in one afternoon. I know, right? Well, it's like we've done it before, you know? I'm having, like, deja vu. It's weird. Yeah. It's very weird. But it's such a nice truck. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you all tomorrow.